Hi. Hello, YouTube. <sighs> Nearly 25 to 6 in the morning. Sunday morning. This is one of my African rat babies eating. This is the male that's eating there now. He shed last night, so the female will shed, I'd say, tonight. Or maybe, she, I'd say I shed it be in, in the tank and all in the morning. This is the uh, male that's eating here now. This is 100% have for partliness. So, I mean, uh, just, I just won't get in his way. And let him walk away in his big mouse. to people that, that know me from Blanche but don't know that I, I, I'm a big snake lover now don't worry I still love me bikes but um, het means like these are 100% het for patronus which mean which will mean when the babies come out see the way they have patronus on them all down the back and all the babies won't the babies will be just pure gold with a pure white belly pure patronus which makes them dear. So this is the male. Seems to be getting that down my way. And I have one there that um I knew I, I knew I couldn't take one out for uh, for uh, for the female because I knew she was shedding after him shedding last night and then the I did take two out for the bear, but the bear on me at one because you can see the other one was shed. So the other mouse that I have here, I'm gonna offer it to the African to this one here after it finishes that one. Just see, will I take it? <laughs> you know, I had to pump them up. But a male, a, a male python, retic. African rock bairn is a breed at 12 months old but it has to be a good size female you're talking you have to get into the over two 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 years and eight months probably I just let it go to the three year to get the pure fertile you don't want to do a lot of eggs to be coming out good eggs and then a lot of um, a lot of uh, dud eggs which means that some of them will be fertile, but the others won't. So that's what, that's what happens when you breed them too young. But these have a long way to go, yeah? God bless them. God's lovely little creatures. I love them. I fucking love them. As you know, this is the male eating over here. Yeah, this is the male. I just took the bottle of water out and um, just gave me a bit of room to go hide and all that. Just gave me a bit of room to eat there. But there's his water there. Let me go back over to him because this is the one to put this one up on YouTube. He's getting me into him. That was a big mouse. Like, you'd be amazed. A snake can swallow 10, thi 10 things the same. 10 things the same size of his own ten things the same size of his own head something the same size of his own head ten times he can swallow or a bother through them fat me females and snakes in the hair pathology world like in the hair tar in the hair world like the community hair community female snakes are always bigger than males females are the ones that get big and some males get big, but the female is the big, big. <laughs> they get the biggest. It's just the, the genetics of the snake, the females, and that's it they get. And then there's, there's just there's people out there that I know years that just don't know anything about what they do. And it's mad, so, but, you know. There's a recessive gene and then there's a co-dominant gene. Recessive means you have to breed it a couple of times to get what you want. 
how damn it means. Well, you've won them whatever. Trying to chill out with them any eggs. We have a lovely um I have a lovely um male albino uh, lovely male one hundred percent albino ball python. He's a fucking gorgeous. He's up to breeding size and all now. So I'm gonna have to put him with a female. But I have to get a female big enough to put him with. Well, I have a few there but they're only in the four hundred and eighty grams or something. I want to get them up to the 550, 580 grams. You know, the mouse will get out of a ball, put on clutch. And and I know with the mouse was with um, a friend of mine from um, America, Mike Wellbanks. He has um, he has a twelve. He's a twi- he has a nice big ball put on that gave him. Um, 12, 12 big eggs. A ball python is usually only give you four, four eggs, six eggs. Is, is that that that'll be it? But I do know um, my friend uh, Mike Wilmanks got um, twelve, and then in, a, in another one, another one of his videos, he, and then he was telling me himself he got twenty two. Off one of his big ball pythons. I think it's a 12 kilograms, 12 kilo or something she weighs. But um, he got like, I think there was 20 eggs, 21 eggs, and he says she got a ba- every egg that she laid, she got a baby for each for each kilo she had. So she was something like 20 kilo, 21 kilos, kilograms or something, you know. But uh, this little male is um, just about finished. I don't know if it... See, they just like to eat one. Especially when we were starting to shed last night. Um, but we'll, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll see. Will he dance and have the second one? This is the infamous African rock that you see eating fucking baby hippo and deers and everything in South in, in, in uh, Africa. They're native. That's the native snake, the African rock python. And I have a lovely pair, a male here and a female sitting on my shoulder because she's in shed and she won't entertain field which I, it's one thing they will not into her time field when she when she shed. So that's why I want to, I don't want to waste it. Like I wouldn't waste it even if he doesn't take it because of that many snakes. But I just want to see will he take it. If he does, he does. If he doesn't, he doesn't. What can I do? You know what I mean? I'm not gonna fucking kill him. <laughs> what can I do? Kill him. African rock, 100% head patternless. I don't have to prove these out, they're already 100% proven. We'll just see. I'll just try and sneak in there with the camera looking. And I will just go in with the head first and see is he interested. Is that, that's his turn, so hang on to see Willie. Would you be interested in another, another one? Oh, he is, look. That was that's, that's an African rock. African rock. Man, African rocks. So he's at the eating your meal. But don't worry, there's plenty of food. I'll take food out for you when you shed. And I'll give you two. I'm talking to the one I have here up on my shoulder. Don't know if you probably see her. Hang on. Um, I'm trying to turn around, but I don't know if you'll see her. There she is there. But we have to go back to the male eating. No, I don't want you doing any back flips, right? See, I don't want 
to touch on because we so fast and you grab it wrong, you know what I mean? I can be this Monty, this Monty, you know what I mean? But he made a dive on it, but we'll take it out and see what happens. Bye-bye.